Hello, Daggers, it's me, and welcome back to some more World of Tanks Gone Soul and another new premium tank. It's been out for a while. I did plan on putting a video out on the first day. I logged in on the day of the update, put some equipment on this tank and the Action X as well. I was most excited to play that tank um, and sort of alternated between Action X and 4202P trying to get some footage for you guys. And I think I played maybe four games and I removed the equipment and um, vowed never to play this tank again but a few days ago I thought I'd go back to it and give it another go just to try and get a you know, better angle on it and see what it's actually about so the 4202 used to be one of my favourite tier 10 vehicles mainly because it had hesh rounds it had expensive hesh with 210 pen and cheap hesh, well, I think we're still over 100mm of penetration, I think. Yeah, so when this came out, I didn't really look up. I did watch some PC videos a while ago when, when it happened to them. Uh, but I didn't realise that the high explosive rounds on this tank were going to be so bad. To put it this way, even a Rheinmetall Borsig's hull armour could bounce. Well, not bounce. Um, you might not penetrate a Borsig's hull armour with this gun doesn't have enough calibre to totally overmatch. I think is it 30 millimetres the hull armour on a Borsig? Yeah, so you don't have enough calibre to totally overmatch. Remember you need three times the um, shell calibre. No, sorry, three times the armour thickness in shell calibre to get a auto pen. And that won't happen with this gun because I think it works out something stupid like 87 point something millimetres. Yeah, so you can't... Um, Totally overmatch, Borsig, hull armour. Anyway, and onto the penetration itself, it's like 30 with the high explosive. So all of that nice, you know, high explosive action with the 4202 has completely gone. But, it does have the 20 pounder. It is an okay gun. But, it, the reload feels a bit too long for the Alpha. The penetration's pretty good for a tier 8 premium. But this tank doesn't get premium matchmaking. And I've had a few games in this tank. Uh, one comes to mind. I had an E100 in my gun sights. He was about 350, 400 metres away. Driving straight towards me. No angling whatsoever. I had his lower plate fully square. Premium ammunition loaded. I bounced five shots off his lower plate. And he drove at me, rammed me and killed me. So uh, this is not particularly fun for tier 10. I've got another video coming up soon the CDC in a tier 10 game where I came almost top on damage and the reason for that is the CDC has I would say a better gun than the 4202P the 90mm on that tank is pretty good yeah bounce off a night anyway but what uh, the CDC has is mobility it has bugger all armour but it has a crap ton of mobility and when you're sort of bottom tier armour doesn't really mean much anyway so you may as well have the mobility and firepower and the 4202 most definitely doesn't have mobility I think the speed limit is capped at 34 you will do a little bit more downhill that's why when I first played this tank I didn't really want to play it anymore so I didn't for a while but I had a couple of good games in it the other night when I was trying to get a video. This one, yeah, it was okay. Just wanted to put a video out about this tank. So what have they done to the 4202? Well, they've removed the 105. They've nerfed the speed, which was already bad anyway. So what have they done to this tank effectively? They've turned it into a bad Carnarvon, and that is it. Uh, it would be a massive problem, but remember, like Tacky keeps telling me, it's not a tank for is OP, or some of them are, but it's normally the player that makes the tank OP. So even in a bad tank like this, every now and again, you're going to pull out something a bit decent. On to this game then. So we were behind by quite a way, but I'm using this pathetic mobility just to keep myself moving. Right, so now I'm going to go hold down, and that is a Carnarvon. It's basically my opposite number really, similar speed. He has better armour, I think, on the whole. Yeah, check that out. 
I didn't want to load premium rounds because I try not to when I'm trying to get videos for you guys. A lot of people do complain about me using premium rounds. So uh, yeah, I end up getting bounces like that off lower plates. Right, so come round, get one more in. He's nicely angled, but it shouldn't matter for his side armor now. There we go, through the front drive, Bill, who's dead. And we've gone from losing quite badly to winning quite nicely. Right, so here we go with the mobility, watch this. Full speed ahead, and it's... Oh, I hit 40 then. And look at this, it's like in slow motion. Right, so the Tiger's got the choice now of facing the other Tiger 2, or um, turning to kill me. But the Tiger 2 there, he's on low health, but he's face hugging. And he does a pretty good job of staying alive here. We're almost capped out. We really don't need to, do we, really? There's only going to be an eye left after this guy. Come on, one more shot. You can just see the sort of average DPM now. How long has it taken to kill this Tiger 2 from behind? So there we go, Artie left, capping out. Well, I think the Artie's going to live. So four kills and a tidy amount of pence. With a 90mm, I'd be happy with 18 pence. But with this gun, I think the alpha is slightly lower. So it's not going to be massive damage. But credits, cha-ching, that's what we like with premiums. So just under 3,800 damage, four kills, a high calibre and a mastery one. Not bad at all in terms of credits. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have got a 4202P. If you have, let me know what you think about it. And if you haven't, let me know if you'd be interested in buying it if they stuck another premium tank in the store. Anyway, cheers, guys. Catch you on the next one. See you later. <laughs>